Yo, what's going on Epic 7? I'm Sue and this is my beginner's guide to Abyss Floor 112. Floor 112 will have you facing off against Lilius. At the beginning of the fight, every four turns, and also when you bring Lilius under 50%, she will use Ready Load Fire. This is an AoE attack that blinds your entire team for two turns. It also spawns three elite Perlin cadets, even if those cadets are already dead. Now, the cadets are the core mechanic to the fight. Every time you attack Lilius, the cadets get 30% combat readiness, an attack buff, and a speed buff that stacks. So, if you try to brute force down Lilius, these cadets are going to take a ton of turns, get very powerful, and do a ton of damage to you. If you try to AoE down the cadets, then obviously you're hitting Lilius, which again accomplishes the same thing. When she revives them, they also maintain all of their buffs and status effects that she gives them throughout the fight. Instead, what you want to do is focus down the cadets. They are super easy to kill if you have a strong single target DPS. Sadly, they're going to revive throughout the fight because of ready load fire, but that's fine. Again, they're super easy to dispatch, and once they're dead, Lilius is basically a sitting duck. She is super easy. The only hard part of Abyss Floor 112, in my opinion, is the first floor, where you tackle the Elite Pearl and Spearhead along with three of these gunfire cannons that spawn alongside it. At the start of the fight, Lead Scouts, the Spearhead passive here, grants him invincibility until you kill the rest of the cannons, right? So, kill the cannons first, then you can kill him. If you manage to attack him with, like, say, an AoE or you voluntarily single target attack him for no damage, it will increase the combat readiness of the remaining cannons by 30%. So do keep that in mind. Again, don't really want to be playing AoE here on this floor. Additionally, he has a second passive here called Sensing Weakness. Any non-blue unit on the first floor takes 15% more damage and has their evasion decreased by 15%. When you finally kill the boss here on the first floor, you lose all of your souls, so don't bother stalling. Don't bother trying to save up the souls at all. It's just not worth it. Now, the real challenge is these three gunfire cannons. These do a lot of damage. They do AoE attacks, and they defense break, right? So the goal is to try to kill one of these in your first attack rotation, if at all possible, to make things more manageable, because, again, they do a lot of damage. If you get to the point where the gunfire cannons are going to start doing their ultimates, it could wipe your team. So, need single target damage dealers. They hit very, very hard. Once you burst down the cannons, just pick off the spearhead, and then it's on to Lilius, where all we have to do is just make sure that the adds never survive, never get to take a real turn, and it's over. All right. Now that we know how the fight is going to go, let's talk about who we're playing. For our tank, it's, of course, going to be Adventure Raz because of his fantastic s2 command strike for the defense break and the follow-up dual attack as for how he's built arius here is going to be our artifact health percentage necklace health percentage ring boots or speed effect this at 85 percent plus is recommended for your healer you're going to want to play tamarin again for the dual attack synergies the cleanses the heals the attack buffs all that stuff you've come to expect from the character in this beginner's abyss guide series Wondrous Potion Vial here is going to be our artifact of choice. Necklace is health, ring is health percentage, and our boots are speed. If you can have over 85% effectiveness, that is also ideal. Now, for the last two slots, you can play any single target damage dealers or off DPS that you want. I'm going with two connection heroes in Commander Lorena and Camilla because, well, I've been using them a lot throughout this series, and if you've been following along, there's a good chance you already have them built. As for how Camilla is built here, just to have her on Daydream Joker here as the artifact and have your effectiveness over 65% and your boots as speed. Everything else is completely up to you. If you want to do some damage, you go for like a crit chance or a crit damage necklace. I'm on health percentage just so I can survive. And then necklace could be either attack percentage or effectiveness. And then obviously if you could have her skilled up, that would be great. And then lastly, for our main DPS, we have Commander Lorena. Whatever you decide to play, Sarmia, Sagrat, doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's level 60. Six Star Awoken, Daydream Joker here as your artifact. Crit Damage Necklace, Attack Percentage Ring, Attack Percentage Boots. You already know, we've been using Commander Lorena for most of the series. You know how great she is. Anyways, let's jump into it so you can see how an actual run goes. 
All right, so as we talked about earlier, we're going to be taking increased damage because we're not blue. So we want to pick a cannon and start rushing it down as fast as possible. Otherwise, we're going to die very quickly. Yes. All right, normally you hold the S2 on Roz for the soul burn, but well, we're going to lose our souls at the beginning of the next stage anyway. And these things again have to die quick. So let's go for an S2 here. Go S1 here for the CR push. Back buff here. Hopefully we get a defense break. Still no defense break. Fine. Go S1 here for the CR push. Okay, so Roz is already at half health and that was only from two cannon shots there. All right. Imagine if we had the third. Now let's go S1 here. Go for a defense break. All right, let's S3 to make sure that this dies. All right, go for a basic here. S1 here. All right, try to go for a defense break here. Don't get it. Lorena here. Close your eyes. Heal everybody up with Tamarin. I'll protect you. Go for basic here. Stay calm and think S2 here for the attack buff. And then just kill this. And now that everybody is dead, you can hit the spearhead. This guy has like no HP. He's pretty laughably weak. And then we could soul burn Raj just to get off the floor because again, we don't have souls. As you can see, all of our souls are gone. So now Lilius uses ready load fire. And then we could idle here at the start to get rid of the blind. And then we can work on dispatching those cadets. I like to S3 here at the start with Raz for the defense buff and also the souls. They're already at the bottom of the CR bar, so I don't really care about giving them some CR. And then we just try to kill these with Lorena. Uh, this one's about to die anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to S3 here, because it'll one-shot it outright. Alright, same thing. We can go here, kill this one. Sadly did not, but... Close enough. Didn't get the uh, quite the damage I was hoping for. But there you go. Now all three cadets are gone. Now watch how Lilius doesn't really do anything because there's no cadets. Yeah. So until she uses ready load fire, she's a sitting duck. She doesn't really do anything. So we could burn for a defense break. Hopefully. Nope. Don't get it. Try again. We break through here for big damage. You can't close your eyes. All right, let's do this. All right, we don't want to use our S2 just yet. All right, now she's defense broken, so this might actually push her under 50%. She'll use ready load fire when it's every fourth turn or the first time she goes under 50%. All right, there we go. There's ready load fire again. So the cadets are going to come back and we're going to be blinded again. That's fine. We can just soul burn here on Roz. Sadly, we missed. Got it that time. S2. See if we miss. All right, so we missed uh, on the Camilla, but not the Lorena. Go idle to get rid of the rest of the blinds. Push everyone to the front. I will break through on the third one. That'll kill it in one hit. That'll give skill nullifiers. We'll burn on Raz here. This will kill this one. That's one here. And now we just fish for a defense break. 
I must fight. Take this. Still didn't get it. Did S3 just for the damage and the souls. Skill 2 here with Tamarin. S1. S1. And we really don't get these defense breaks, do we? What is a defense break? <laughs> Alright. You just S1 here. And then the arena just S1s here. And that will be it. That's Abyss Floor 112 in a nutshell. Like I said, it's pretty easy for the most part. If you're still having trouble, though, feel free to ask questions down in the comment section below. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll see you all in Abyss Floor 113. Later now.